guys I'm sure can see me there now you may get rocked around a little bit but at least you can see what's going on here this is filing in its simplest simplest form yeah Here we go this side did not get hammered See, just a little teeny bit here. You can just see it there. See that? I'm pushing down into the chain, like down into the bar. I'm not lifting up to try and straighten out this corner. Or what's going to happen if I do that, um, it's just, it's not going to work, friends. I'm going to slowly lose my hook on the side. <clears throat> That's terrible. Okay. I'm just going to double check and see if we're still on, on, on camera here. We are. We're dead square. Looks good to me. Okay, friends. So here, I'm just going to do something real quick. So let's, let's get this going. Th this isn't this bad. So I, I'm literally... I'm pushing down. I'm pulling with my right. I'm pushing with my left. Now, if you push down too hard and get too much gullet, you're going to be continuously chasing the uh, the burr on top of your tooth. Let's just, look at a guy that heard about this get the gullet thing. And he went, I'll get the freaking gullet. I'll show you, Mr. Buck and Billy Ray. I'll get the freaking gullet. Well, indeed you did. That's not good. That's that's too much gullet. Okay, friends. Now, whether he ground it with a with a with a, a, a grinder or just grabbed a a small file, that's the epitome right there. Probably a three sixteenth file in a in a three eighths chain where it's supposed to be seven thirty seconds. He probably grabbed a three sixteenth file. I can almost guarantee you. On top of your tooth. You just, that's it, friends. She's rip-roaring. That's it. Okay? Next, bring her back. Start going. Stay down, but not down over there. Like, right down in there. Simple, simple stuff. I'll change this in a minute, and I'll show you the, a different angle, what I'm doing. I am totally flat with my bar. They start pulling up, friends, to get that plate and it's not the right thing to do. It's just not, okay? You've got to push down. If you've got the wrong size file, you're defeating your purpose right now all the way home to the bank. You just are. Okay, I'm gonna go get another uh, phone and I'm gonna put it down in here and you're gonna see what's going on. Okay, friends, I took the, the moment here to show you a little something. This is the exact, see, I'll buy a power saw or something will get sent or just that scenario. This is 3H chain, okay? Now, you look at the, this side here and you go, okay, well, uh, he's missing a little bit of the gullet. You can either tell he's he's been pulling up, like I mentioned in the video, don't, don't pull up. So, so this is one side, okay? This, it's not horrible. It's not horrible, but it's not, it's not good neither. Okay, you can see the corner's been bent off it. It's time to file. But if you don't, and I'll show you the other side of this. This is Oregon chain. 
I'll show you the other side of this chain. So this, this man's got a big problem. He's cutting on an angle and probably wondering why. Check out this. I'm going to flip the chain over and I'm going to show you the other side. Flip. Check. Check out what he's dealing with on the other side of this chain. Um, sorry, friends. Here, I'll go this way. <laughs> so so here it is there, there, there's the other side yes that's supposed to cut wood uh, let's take a look up here where's the next one? Oh yeah okay so there's the ski jump friends there's the famous ski jump that I talk about look at that the gullet is this is the epitome of get the freaking gullet That's terrible, this, okay? Now, let's look at the extreme. Let's get rid of that. Let's look at a guy that heard about this get the gullet thing, and he went, I'll get the freaking gullet. I'll show you, Mr. Buck and Billy Ray. I'll get the freaking gullet. Well, indeed you did. That's not good. That's, that's too much gullet. Okay, friends, now whether he ground it with a, with a, with a, a, a grinder or just grabbed a, a small file, that's the epitome right there, probably a 3 16th file in a, in a 3 8 chain where it's supposed to be 7 30 seconds. He probably grabbed a 3 16th file. I can almost guarantee you that's, that that's what he did because I got a 3 16th file in my hand right now, and I'll bet you that that's what that man did. Okay, so it is too much color. And what'll happen, you hear me talk about it, is this. You'll bend your top over. You'll be chasing that burr. He figured he was sharp. He wasn't sharp. He was sharp for his first cut. And then the, the top bent over because it's batting the wood, you see. It's too much gullet. Get rid of that. You guys got me. I know you do. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just watching the kerf come up. The burr, okay? Bunch of crap on there. And I'm going slow so that you guys can understand the process of, of the filing action. I'm literally got a fresh file. Always have a good fresh file. If you're wondering how many filings I get out of a, whoopsie, I just hit the top of the tooth. Um, how, how many filings I get out of a tooth? I get about five or six, depending on, that's a good file. Depending on how long you're That's exactly right. I run 32, you guys know that, so yeah, I. If you're filing a 42 inch bar, you probably get less. Yeah, you probably get two or three. See how I'm going down in? And then I'm, I'm taking care of that top burr. There it is. You guys feeling me? Now, Hogan, we were over there and we got, yeah, we, we, this tooth got beat up. I think you can probably see that right there. I think I hit something in that maple. Yeah, I'll just put that there so we know that we're on, on course. Okay. Here we are, friends. So see this too? You can see it. It is ragged. In its simplest, simplest form. Did you see what just happened? It's literally sharp. In its simplest, simplest form. Did you see what just happened? It's literally sharp. But it's not good enough for me. But... The reason it's sharp is because I fell that 730 seconds file right down into the hole. I'm not doing any of this stuff right now. I don't need to. I'm, I'm barely on the, a new chain. So simplest form. But remember, I'm not pulling up, friends.
Through we your fail guides, through them far, far, far away. Through we your fail guides, toss them in the creek and get rid of them all. Okay, that's it. Next, look at that freaking corners knocked right off it, friends. Like, not, not good. I should go by, I'm going to go with one hand so you guys can actually see. Look at what happens here. I'm just going to one hand file. See what's happening? I'm almost there, but I'm not sharp yet. I'm just going to grab with my other hand. You guys can see over top. I know you can. Here comes the here comes the burr. You ask yourselves, Bucking, you're filing so many strokes. Yes, indeed I am. It's because I like it to be sharp. You see this? You see what's going on there? Okay, nothing aggressive and crazy. But remember, each tooth. See, this one's not even dull. But I always take a couple strokes on her, even if she ain't dull, to follow suit. Right, friends? Come on. Okay. There. Now we're solid. See the burr? Can you guys see that burr sitting in the air? I've got to come and look at that. Yeah, you can. There it is. <laughs> That's unreal. What an unreal camera. Okay, look at it. There it is. Loosen up on your file now. Just, just gradually slide through, take care of business. I'm going straight through. There it is, done, sharp. Boom. Another corner knocked right off the top. Watch. See, you can hear this archer chain. You can actually hear it. It's, uh... See that come up? There we are. That That's sharp, friends. And we're on gullet, right? We're on point. Look. See, you can actually see a little hump right there. Okay? Friends, I hope, I hope, I sincerely hope that that makes sense. Now I'm going to show you something else. And use your two mittens that the big fella give you. Get the gullet, get it, and get it real, real good. Don't forget to pick a bill of soap and I'm actually going to back out to about right there. You guys will be able to see everything I'm doing, the angle, the whole gamut. Of, of what what I'm doing here okay we're eight minutes into this okay let's go here we are I'm gonna go back to the other side because that's what I got going on here's what I look like Okay. Simplest Friends, form. listen, quick little sidebar action. You'll notice, you'll be thinking to you, why, why is he taking 5,000 strokes on that one? Friends, just because you notice me taking 30 strokes or 20 strokes doesn't mean I have the same grinding, metal removing strokes. I'm doing like all kinds of different. That's why I love freehand filing friends you, you, i'm doing finishing strokes and and all kinds of light just clean up strokes they're not all hammering just remember that
I saw that. Probably, sm probably smart to run, run through it once or twice strokes. Friends, I, I want you to see what's going on. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going for different angles, and and I'm sh I'm a visual guy. I don't know about you, but. There's so many videos on the on the net here showing you know different things, but there I am. There's the angle of my file. This is what I'm doing. I'm not just get a groove going. Even if your first couple strokes are are, are haywire, it takes a couple strokes to get into the groove. So don't don't worry about if you're off a little bit when you first start hammering on it. Just give her. Give her. This is Archer Chain Skip Tooth 3 8 50 gauge. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, you can knock your file on your side of your bar on the truck, you can knock it anywhere you want. And don't forget to tap your file on the pickup truck to knock out the filings for the next little tooth. Okay, this is, we're almost done here. Notice I'm pulling quite a bit with my right hand. Just what I do. Okay, that's it. That's that side. All right. So that's that. So now what I would do is I would have something there. Friends, I gotta be honest with you. This, a little of this, is better than this, side to side. Don't be afraid to, to give it this. This'll, you know, depending on how bad you've rocked it. This is usually me like this, sometimes on a bad rock. I'll boat to get my gullet. That's what I do. And then I, and then I kick back. Hey, if you wanna do a demonstration on the rock, and, uh, you got one over there, have you? Yeah. No, I'm actually done the back You hammered it. Ah, uh, that's probably a smart idea. So you see what's going on, friends? There comes our, there comes our, our burr. Don't, don't count your strokes. Stop doing that, friends. It's a waste of energy, time, thought process. You can have a full turn on one side and keep down to the line on the other side. You put a record gauge on it, this has been rocked really bad. That's why you'll notice my angle's gone down a bit now. Only for a few strokes. Now I straighten up. See that, friends? You see what I did? So just get your hand on it. 
Get a firm hand on it. Don't be limp wristing it. Get on it, friends. No, none of this. Don't. You know, forget that. Just get it. If you're, if you, if you need to take a few strokes and go like this to find your strength, and you, then do it. Then straighten out. I do it all the time. I'll go like S, and then I'll I'll go like S. There I go. Okay, sharp, done. So here we are, simplest form. Again, running the file straight across it, pushing down, trying to rest that file in that C cup. You know, we talk about that C, friends. Get that file in that C. So you're going to be pushing down. You just are, friends. Here's one with the corner knocked right freaking off it. You guys should almost see this. So you saw what I was doing there. So let's go back over here. Right here, okay? Let's do this. Boom. Let's go to about 4.3. 4, 4, 4. There. I think, is, yes it is. That's the tooth right there. Look at it. It's got the corner knocked right off it. That guy, right there. Look at it. Let's file it, shall we? Watch what happens. Look at, watch what I do. I'll just go normal. I won't get all goofy. But you've got to push down. Don't pull up and try and go, oh, I'll get that sharp. Uh, no, stop that. Stop that silliness. File the chain. That is freaking sharp. And I'm gonna show you when we're done. This one's not bad. Simplest form, just. Okay, friends, just we're getting near the end here, but uh, if the thing needed rakers right now, I would just grab grab a raker gauge to your design, whatever one you like, um, and just use a raker gauge. Um, however, whichever one you pick is, is they have a certain way they work. Find out how it works, stick it on there. I don't suggest freehand in your rakers, friends. Uh, just have a gauge, stick the gauge on there. I use a Carlton or a Husky gauge. I've got gauges from years ago that I like better than I do the new ones that are made. Husky makes it on a bad that little plate, you know. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but use a raker gauge. Uh, we'll do another uh, video on the rakers, but we didn't need it on this particular filing. Like it's, it's ready to go. Uh, but we will after I file it, after hitting that piece of steel, I definitely will need it. So... But use a raker gauge. Over and out. All right. Well. I don't know what. Ganges must have hit something. I'll bet you I know what he did, though. I'll bet you I know what he did. Let's see. Oh, hard to say.
What the? What is that doing there? Dude! Boy! Check this out! What you got? A nail. Oh, that's what I hit. Up in the freaking tree, 30 40, feet. 40 feet up the tree. Look it! That's what I hit. Well, I don't... Oh, yeah. That's what I hit. I just hit that. That's not even a nail. That's like... What is it, dude? It's in the knot. It's in the limb. It's, not, it's like a flat piece of stock, too. It's not even... We should almost get an axe and hack that let's, out. Let's get that out of there. Let's go see what that is. Just grab something so we can... Just get me one by the, uh, by the truck where we park it. What in the... It looks like a big washer or something. Whoop! There it is. Water? Yeah. It's a blade. For what though? Dude, this. Let's see that. Look at this thing. It's been it's there. It's a knife blade. It's a literally, a, it's a blade out of a knife. It's still sharp. That's like a blade out of a lock blade freaking knife that snapped right off. In the knot of the tree. So was the guy trying to cut the knot off? Cut a branch off? I think that's what would have happened. Someone Show that right up on that camera. Somebody must have been... And, and we're talking... And bring it over here. Actually. One, two, three. So that was 30 years ago. At least 30 years ago. And look where it was, Sonny. I think it's like it got flung in there, though. Look at that. That's what we just found. Embedded Way in this. up this tree, 30, 40 feet up a log inside of a limb knot. And if you said you got, you hit something. Like, just can't get a break. That's, look how far up this tree this was. This was right here. Show them where it was. That was right there. And there's the bottom of the tree. The bottom of the tree is down there. Look at this though. It was embedded right in oh, yeah. there. It Show was that. Right in there. It was like this, friends. It was like uh it was like that. It was like that. And I just dug into it. You can see I went to make a cut and smacked it. It's 40 foot in the air, dude. Like how? I don't understand how? that. Well, you don't see that every day. That's can I see that steel? Yeah. Camera there. And it's sharp as crazy. It is, it's still sharp. Well, it explains how it got in there, but. It doesn't really seem like a knife blade, though. Yeah, who knows? That's just. I'm gonna go finish up my chain. But yeah. That's insane. It's homemade steel, I think. That's insane, man. Anyway, I'll go file a Dalmar again. I'll probably hit the rakers. There it is, knock the corner right off the tooth. Right there. It's hard steel, let me tell you that. Same thing happened to Hogan. Look at friends. Look at this. Where is it? Knocked the corner right off the tooth. That's just, you don't see that every day. I thought bullet, you know? Wood bullet. That's nuts. I gotta file it now. That's just craziness. I guess we're going to work out the steel in that freaking tree now. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's crazy. That hurts. That does. Look at that. Knocked the corner right off the sucker. <sighs> Destroyed my chain. Oh, yeah. It, it's crazy good steel. Through your failed guides, throw them far, far, far away. Through your failed guides, toss them in the creek and get rid of them all.
Thank you very kindly for watching me videos. Don't forget to get the gullet and toss away your guides. Be kind, friends. So in the closing on my tune today for yous, folks, gather up all your little gauges and guides, wrap them up in a ball and toss them into the creek. No, don't do that. That's not good for the environment. But don't forget to get your files out and start and chopping. <laughs>